All right. Hello, good evening. Hi there, Mihail. How are we doing today? I am absolutely prepared and hyped not to reach ending 3. <laughs> or complete it, at least. But how about you guys? <laughs> hey there, Ivy. Oh, man. I need a break. I literally... <clears throat> finish recording a segment for the next main story that will come out tomorrow. My throat did not like that. <clears throat> too much. Too much high pitch. Anyway, how are we doing, Ivy? Okay, first off, uh, game, tiny bit down. Oh boy, let's see. Uh, right. Time for the suffering. <laughs> nice. God, fighting him for the first time was, uh... Pfft. It was an experience, let's, let's put it that way. It was a very interesting experience. <laughs> the suffering begins indeed. Okay. You know what? While it's on my mind, let's do, let's do this for once. Right? Let's do this for once. Sure. Never ever borrowed another person's character in any kind of capacity, so this is gonna be interesting. At least not for this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Healy? Healy. <clears throat> Some Healy, at least. <laughs> hey there, Salty. <clears throat> oh, this tea is helping my throat right now. How are you doing? Let's see... Give me this one. Okay. Uh, sure. From second animation on, this skill is unlimited. Right, this is the unlimited skill. Okay. <laughs> nice, Ivy. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, that way. Uh-huh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that 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 happens. That is how things go. <laughs> Did you get at least um every other character as well from the banner then in that one single temple? <laughs> Thank you, Clement. <laughs> I will need it. Considering how, how it usually goes, I will need it. <laughs> nope. Oh well. Well, at least... At least you got horror, I guess. Did you have... Did you have the other, um... Did you have the other, um... Characters, did you have Ines and uh, W, so you have the entire family together. Um, Ninth Whispers in the two deployment limit, all friendly units again, plus eight defense. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you know what? Sure, only Ines. Well. That's at least two of them together, then. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Goodbye, Clamor. Okay. I'm gonna grab these two... These two battles. <clears throat> Get some extra currency for cannot. Hmm. Oh, there is a... That's a mimic. Oh boy. Okay. That's a mimic. Okay. Okay. Spot be thanking him pretty well. Thanks for the ingots. Hey, this is what I actually need. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Uh, turn into trader. 50 attack speed. Gimme that. Okay. Let's see what's in here. I'll take it. <laughs> I... I literally got the thing I just ignored. Okay, cool. Hmm... <laughs> Very useful. Uh... Hand of Pulverization? What is that for? Artilleryman, Splashcaster and Flingers. Okay. Attack of Defender and Supporters. Okay. Medic. I'll take you just so I have a medic. I'll take this. Refresh. Hey there, Speed! How's it going? Uh, okay. Oh, actually. Can use. Promotions are free. <clears throat> okay. Objective shields. Doesn't matter. 
Defender and supporter, 10% for each defender and supporter. Yes, I'll take it. Mines. Okay. I'm gonna keep the rest of the ingots. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, actually, never mind. I thought this is the... You lose health when you deploy someone. Uh, banana... Yeah, okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, lost and found. I need a scout one. Nice. Uh... I do have stuff to trade in, and this doesn't do anything anymore, so you can have that. Enemies within the attack range of supporters. I don't have a supporter right now, but sure. IS2 ending 2. Uh, IS, IS2 ending 2? Jesus. IS4 ending 2. Nice. Yeah, it really depends. For that one, really depends how you roll with uh, with the squads, or rather with the units. If you literally have nothing to to stop the guy, you are boned. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, <laughs> first off, n n nice, nicely done with finishing episode 13, I am uh, nowhere near yet. <laughs> I am nowhere near yet. That will take a while. <laughs> Making progress on chapter 7. <laughs> God damn, you're still so far behind, Ayui. But nice! Okay. <laughs> hmm. Let's go with you, with you for once. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll get there. Just take your time. Uh, give me this one. <clears throat> okay. What do you get? What do you give me? Banshee's Kiss. Okay. That's very good. Um... Protector Arms, Protector Duelist Operators, Inflict uh, Bind on all nearby enemies, lasting one second. Uh, don't have a single one of them. <sighs> okay, very torn. <laughs> very torn right now. I kind of want the hope. Yeah, screw it, give me. Okay. 
there's a scout. Alright. Well, taking the bottom route then. <clears throat> I'll take that. Has to be better, better. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, salty. Okay. <sighs> sure. What's in here? <clears throat> what do you have for me? Battle stages. Okay. Well, I see. I see an easier route. I say easier. I say easier, and then I see that. Hmm, what's on top? Hold on, I have an idea. Yeah, let's take that. <clears throat> let's take that one. I have an idea. Gonna delete the other node. You do not have range, you do. Ow, 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 hurts, ow, hurts, 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 ow, hurts a lot. I was about to say, can that guy stop? <laughs> There now. Getting clapped by their own things. Alright. And now we take the big explodey one. Okay, this thing. Delete. Oh, you got the UI theme already? Nice. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This counts galore. When an enemy enters the... Uh, or is freed from levitation and or weightlessness. Huh. Don't really have units for that right now. Snipers have 20%... Yes. Uh... Can't really do anything with a guard. Because they don't have a guard right now. Hmm. 
how am I looking on this? Give me one. Hmm. Refresh. <clears throat> hey there, Luthio. Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I am happy to hear that you are enjoying it. And speaking of, next episode for the main story will be out tomorrow. <laughs> Once I finish stuff. <laughs> Today's part <clears throat> has stressed the vocal cords. Yeah, I was gonna ask or look it up at least. Uh, the UI theme that comes from the milestone right now. Can you get it later? Somehow? Or is it literally just right now as the event is up with the points? You had to find 5,000 red certs in the past week to get 6 star... To oh god. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't remind me. I looked up. I looked up the next characters that are coming with uh, the next side story, which I need to prepare for the next set of operator records after this batch is done. And I had a mini aneurysm when I noticed that every single one of them is like, oh shit, I need to level them. There's like four characters in there, and two are, two are completely new. <sighs> Immediately aneurysms. Only right now? Yeah, that probably makes sense. Okay. Uh, melee is gain 40 attack speed for 5 seconds after taking damage. Yes, please. Uh, this one. Yes. Uh, let's take... Let's take you. Didn't really help me, but whatever. Oh, oops. Okay. And you have... That is new. Frozen Vetstone. When a battle begins, the max HP, attack, defense, resistance, block count, starting SP, and DP cost of a random operator is doubled? Pfft. Whoa. Clairvoyant's reveal. The DP cost and redeployment time of all operators is randomly... Oh, this thing. But it's a different item this time. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take the whetstone for now. I'm gonna take the whetstone for now because I want to see... <laughs> how RNG is gonna be bullshit with this one. Also, what do you say? The stone's surface is smooth as ice. The maker asked the mountain cliffs for permission to replicate their overpowering strength in their in their blade. And the mountain obliged. Uh, okay, there's another lost and found, which I could take. Which I could take because I do have. I think I have something I can trade in. Yeah, I think I can tra trade in the Banshee's Kiss. I think at least I can trade that in. Let's try. Gonna lose a life point, but that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a... Okay, this is the other one. Sure. Do I have something to give you? I can give you this normal one. Uh, can I tell the difference here? Well, this is... This is not nice. You cannot tell the difference in here. I sure hope they're in order, so I'm gonna select number two. Okay. Oh god, yeah, the, the IS-4 UI... Okay, it was the other one. Good. 
The IS-4 UI that we're gonna, gonna get in the future looks so nice, I cannot wait, but it's still like three months out. <laughs> okay. Mm, you all are fine, let's go. I think at least, I, actually, I don't know. I think it's with the with uh, with the final update. I think I'm not actually sure, to be honest. I think it's like when 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 ending four gets updated into the game, but I might be wrong. Okay, this thing is going through. Yeah, I'm not sure. I remember seeing it pretty late into the pe people talking about it at least pretty pretty late into the whole update. <clears throat> oh my god. You have the buff. All right. All right then. Holy shit. <laughs> Super Saiyan Amiya deleting shit. Oh god, how... Yeah, you guys are dead. You guys are dead. You guys are so dead. The bunny is angry. The bunny is super angry. And now the bunny is sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Lore accurate on me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, hmm. I wanted to yoink a tank, but I'm not sure right now. Because I forgot that I'm missing an extra point. Considering there's a ton of arts damage, let's take you. Who do we have? Farty McFarty boy. Okay. Okay, instead of you, let's take you. The rest is fine. I wish you would be on promotion already, but that's fine. That's it in. <laughs> I'll be after someone else, the doctor. Even more lore accurate. Even, even more lore accurate. Mm, shit. <laughs> oh, holy shit, you cost a lot of... Yeah, you have the buff now. Oh god, Typhon with a buff. Oh god. Okay, spot. Block that way. Uh, Amia. There. 
Now to wait for 50 hours to collect enough <laughs> deployment points. Come on. Can I need you yesterday? Here we go. Yep, it deleted, but that's fine. Hmm, is it fine? Is it fine, though? He's kind of in a stupid spot right now. I wish we would have turned on me the other way now. Is he just gonna walk through a gate? I don't remember anymore. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Delete it. Okay. That works, I guess. That kind of worked out. Botched completely, but it worked out. Kill the drone at least. Thank you. Buddy, you are not going through. I will make sure of that. Uh, how do you get to ending three in here? Uh, you find a scout node. You pick the third item. It's the third option on the bottom. And... Um, then you then you proceed to the next stage and you you'll see it in a second you need to go through like a, a prophecy node uh oh shit oh shit this is this is a tough one this is a tough one now okay let's start with you minus two hope to recruit yes And let's take you. Nice. Okay, but yeah, basically you find a scout node, which will usually, should usually pop up in like the second or the third corridor. You pick this thing up from the scout node. It's the third option on the bottom. And then, on the next map, you will get this. The Prophecy Node, which is solo here. And it's always... It's literally the, always the same route down here, from what I've seen. An Emergency Op, and then a, and then a Prophecy. So, this is literally what I need to do right now. <laughs> and this is actually nice. Passive healing, sure. Okay, can I delete this? Not really. Not really. But... I can do this. Ah, shit, really? This is the one I hate. 30% loss on deployment? Ugh. Okay. Oh, boy. Mmm. Mmm, what a funny node. What a funny node. Um. This is the bombardment skill. I'm gonna keep it on this for now. The bombardment one seems to be like a more 
boss killer one. Okay, let's keep you on this. You're fine, you're fine. No, you don't have to change any folder tiles for that. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Okay, the passive healing is working. Who? Amiya has the buff. Okay. Hmm. This way, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to go through. Can't really deal with you. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage. It's costing me a lot of points. Ha! Huh. This is not gonna work out. Yeah, this is a loss. This is a loss. Okay, thought so. Something had to go wrong. These little assholes on the right do not go to the left. I forgot. I forgot. Hey, okay, nice. There we go. Oh well, I'll I'll make it easy for you, Speed. Just uh, just accept that it's pain. Just accept that it's pain and just keep doing it. <laughs> just accept it and keep keep on keep it on. <laughs> it really sucks in giving any uh, squad and employment slots. I don't really remember if I had that problem back then, but I guess. Uh, sure. Really? Yeah, I don't really remember. I don't think I had those kinds of problems with little deployment slots for IS-2. Huh. Sure. Sure. Let's go bottom. Okay, useful. All the healing tanks. <laughs> IS-3 in any kind of regard comparable to any of the <laughs> any of the other two is is kind of very easy. 
Which kind of makes sense, considering, you know, the enemies are uh, squishy sea creatures. <laughs> but yeah, so far out of the three, three ISs, the last, well, I'm not really counting the first one because I barely played it, but um, the second, third, and this fourth one, the third one was really easy, like overall. <laughs> hey, that's something. As long as you got the rewards out. Hmm. Come here. Okay. Cannot. What do you have? Let's see. Casters, less health, more arts damage. Okay. Huh. Immediately promote a sniper, but it's like double the cost of just a regular voucher. Considering I currently have free promotions. I'll take you and refresh. Okay. Promote a specialist doesn't do anything. Increases the attack of medic and snipers by 8% for each medic and sniper in squad. Yes. And. Sure. She's free. She comes along. Probably won't be that long at this point until IS-5 is revealed, or at least teased. Uh, oh, there's a scout one. Okay. <clears throat> Restore, gain three life points, give me that. Okay, scout. Yoink the item. Next. Okay. Okay. Shoot,発する. Uh, trying to remember. I think. I think I got lucky with ending two because I think I got. I think I got the um, the item that uh, weakens him. On that run. I think I got the item that weakens weakens him by like what was it again like eight hundred defense or something. Oh god, uh, heal her, heal her, heal her, that was a mistake, that was a mistake, that was a mistake, okay. That was an absolute mistake to turn that on, oh, Jesus Christ.
Yeah, the frozen part about it, about that fight was the most annoying part about it. Every time you hit him, your units just get frozen in place. Ow! How that hurt? Mm. Okay, let me save up a couple of points. Not gonna be spending on anybody significant. Come along, maybe I'm gonna use you. Maybe. Game? Uh, you can get Lumen for free. Lumen is a welfare operator. <clears throat> you just have to play through the uh, through the Sultifera Navi story to unlock him. He's in the reward track for just completing it. Actually, wait. Is Intermezzi unlocked? Hold on. Eh, go back. Go back. Uh, shit. Uh, give me this. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Not this, this. Uh... No, not yet. Okay. Right. You'll have your chance. You'll have your chance. When it unlocks, you will have your chance to get him. He's free. Uh, immediately into ingots and promoter operator. Friendly units have 15% attack. Minus 21% defense on all enemy units. Yes. All of those items are great, but... Defense shred? Okay. Okay, time for the prophecy again. Let's go bottom route. Oh, hi. Let's not. Let's not. The teddy bear tends to screw me over. Yeah, the record restoration will come. Just like the Golden Age. But yeah, he's gonna be available, so that's fine. <laughs> it will return again. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, you were... <sighs> Motherfucker.
Whoa. Uh, hold, hold, hold. Didn't mean to move the entire window. Holy shit. Hi. Misclicking massively. Oh, you guys are going through. What the hell? Buddy? Yeah, you're going through. Don't care. Oh yeah, yeah. Her her global damage still still keeps going through that. Uh. Yes. Yes. Now we take this, and we take the flower, finally. Okay. Alright. Last second. Keep her alive, please. <laughs> He's just walking through. the boss we have okay finally promotion for you all right I have nothing I can deploy on this thing oh my god really 30% loss of HP natural DP regeneration is reduced by 20% and there are fart clouds now Nice. 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 What else is new? What freaking else is new? Uh, what's the difference between... This one is cheaper, actually. 40 DP. Okay. Go again. Um... Shit, it's a, it's a vignette side story. Uh, Preluding Light? I think that's it. I think that's the one I haven't done yet. <clears throat> I think that's the name, rather. That I remember definitely that, that that is the one, but... I think that was the name?
Okay, that was super lucky. Delete it. Uh, <sighs> fuck. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a moment. Let me let me <laughs> finish this off. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. It, it's a. Uh, it's not. It's not a. From what I remember, at least, it's not a full on full on story. It's a collection of stories. Yes, Carnelian one, that one. <clears throat> oh, buddy, what are you presenting presenting me with right now? Hi. Um yes. Full on immediately promoted. The black tulip, yes. And give me, give me this. <laughs> Overall? Oh. I mean, it's probably Lone Trail. <laughs> it's probably Lone Trail, without a doubt. Because of the theming. Considering I'm, uh, Very into, uh... What's it called? Uh, sci-fi and shit like that. Hmm, scout node on top, Bosky safe house. Break the ice was fun. I think that was the first... No, that was the second one. Or no, no, technically the third one. I think that was the third of, like, new side stories that I did on the channel, I think. Uh, okay. Let's see. What's on this one? Okay, easy. Easy, easy. You motherfucker. Whoa. Uh huh. Oh, you little bitch. あまり待ち絶望の匂いに噛むフラージュできないわ。どうか私を信じて。了解した。どっちが良いのか。ここで分からせてみよう。戦闘中身を壊す苦しみはほんの一瞬。Deleting the mimic. Oh, 
使用準備完了あまりまた絶望の匂いもカムフラージュできないわ<laughs> yeah, it was definitely God the length. Jesus. It is a pretty easy one. Also, coming back to Lone Trail tells you a lot how um, how heavy on heavy on story the thing is. When you when you finish all of the battle stages and the last thing last two things are literally just cutscenes, and the second to last cutscene is an hour long. Dude. <laughs> When I finished recording that whole whole cutscene from start to finish, and I looked at the recording recording time on the video, and I saw like an hour plus, I was like, "What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> what the fuck did I just do?" <laughs> and yes, I am I am very proud to say that that single long hour long cutscene I actually managed to record in in one single go without having to repeat anything inside of it. Holy hell. To this day, I have no idea how I managed that. Yes, an hour. Th there are two epilogue scenes after you finish the last battle stage. The last one is like... The last last one is like... 20-ish minutes. Uh, the one before that is literally an hour long. I was dying. <laughs> I finished that and I was like, how the fuck did I finish that? How the hell is this thing an hour long? What? Uh, changes notes to encounter, there's a hidden power... Sure. Okay, scout. We are gonna send someone out to actually get promoted. <clears throat> it's gonna be you. Uh, then we're gonna enter Ziboski and see what we get. Oh! <laughs> I oh, and she brought back to Originium. That's nice. Okay. Good to know. If you send someone into a scout node to get promoted, and you immediately immediately enter the passage afterwards, it will count as actually leaving the floor completely. Uh, you only got the first stage done an hour and a half later. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sounds accurate. Sounds very accurate. Yep, they can return with ingots. Uh, this one or this one. Let's take the big migration. This one's easy. So if you do that, you are fine. The rest of you are fine. Okay. I actually don't know what the trigger is. I think it's one of the passives you pick up. Oh, you have the confusion bullshit? I haven't seen that in a while. Let's start from here. Oh, everybody has the confusion bullshit. Oh, this is this is this is permanent. This is permanent. I have I have no control over anything on this map. Uh I did max up my buffs. Oh, 
Meanwhile, Typhon. This is true autoplay. <laughs> Can only wait. Yeah, you'll get there very quickly. Literally AFK. Literally AFK. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> hey there, bloody. It's uh, it's going. I'll 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 leave it at that. It's going. All right, we're back to this. Uh, good old faithful. Good old faithful. Okay, gonna have to do this one. Uh, but anyway, give me just one moment. I need to very quickly BRB, so uh, apologies. Oh, okay. Better. Woo. Oh. I'm <laughs> sure it's not stagnating. Feels like it's stagnating, bloody. Okay. Let's see. What was it again? This one. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, bloody, how are you doing? Right, every single one of you has skills on automation right now. Um, pop, 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 pop. Okay. 
って静かになっていく絶望の天ぷお前たちの命に火種をまいた。A lot of farming and prep for when you raid, nice. Well, hope you're having fun with that. Then, Oh boy, these two assholes. Oh, hi. Stay no itchy, you can't stand so the motor for my touch my inochini. A matina. All right, then. Plus one deployment limit, friendly ones gain plus six percent HP. Nice. The king staff. Mm hmm. Uh, sure. Too many. <laughs> Too many. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Good. <clears throat> okay then. Uh what's here? This one. Can I can I get rid of you? Not really. Both of these are for encounters. Hmm. What if I go down? What if I go down? Uh, yes. Yes. And what if I go down one more time? And we completely bypassed that asshole. <clears throat> the spread of all things. Okay. Hmm. You guys are being dickheads right now. Let's see. That. 
Oh, this one? Mumu. It's Bunny Mumu. It's Bunny Mumu in her whole. Hope you can see her. In the whole Rhine Lab coat and everything. Got her from the Lone Trail competition where that, that one was happening. <clears throat> Which also reminds me, apparently also I'm gonna get some merch, depending on how... how that, the, the last <clears throat> thing is gonna run and what the hell the merch even is. Uh, for X Astris, the, 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 um... Uh... The thing they had running for that as well. I have no idea what's in there. They only they only listed some kind of merch. Uh buddy. He be walking. He be walking. Should release in August, Jesus. That's still a long way time. <laughs> it is rigged. But yeah, the Xaster stuff was. If I remember correctly, the Xaster stuff was, um. An Amazon voucher? I can't remember how much it was on the voucher. And the other thing was... Uh, some form of merch. It's probably just gonna be acrylic stands and stuff like that. Which is fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, shit. <clears throat> Spot, you're about to die. There you go, buddy. Yeah, the figurines for this game are so good looking. But Jesus, I have money to import that stuff. 
every time I look at a figure from anything that I would like to get my hands on, it's like, hmm, the price is okay. <laughs> looks, <laughs> looks at the the delivery price on top. Hmm, that is like three times the amount of the statue. Maybe not today. <laughs> Maybe not today. Uh, you. Okay. What do we have in here? Uh, that's for weightless stuff. When melee operators are healed, they are... They and operators in the adjacent four tiles will recover one SP. That is nice. Sure. SP batteries. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh, let's see. Where is the least amount of pain? This one, I would say. Okay. I need to start using these because I need to reduce the amount of... Um, Changes nodes to encounter. Well. <laughs> if I get the combat bossy passage, yeah. Uh, well. Plus 30 starting DP. Artil what is she counted as again? She's a besieger. Okay. Artilleryman, splashcaster, and flinger operators. 15% attack. Um, I'll take the DP. That opens up a lot of venues immediately. Uh, next encounter. Let's see. Four or five stars. Can't see what's on there. But, I need to start reducing this, so... Whatever is on you... Okay. Th well... Gain two hope and recruit an operator from any class. <laughs> Hella daddy. <laughs> okay, that one I haven't heard yet. Hella daddy. Wow, that... That fits so well with his name. <laughs> uh... Okay. Keep on using. Reduce. Collapse all bullshit. Okay, so 60% HP loss on deployment and then... Oh my god, still, still have to deal with that bullshit. Okay, Bosky, what do you have? No, I have never heard anybody call him Hella Daddy. I don't know how I actually haven't heard nobody call him that. Now that I think about it. Ooh, what is this one? Ooh, that one. Mm, I kind of want it. I kind of want that stage. Uh huh. Yeah, let's stick with this. Shelter chat. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Place you there. Place you here. Okay, figured. <laughs> Where do I want to turn you? There? There. <laughs> okay. One tap clap. <clears throat> okay, just in case. Oh. Well, you're an asshole. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess he works as a distraction for a split second. Jesus Christ. They do so much stupid damage. Yeah, this is a very highly tuned stage because it's a harder mode stage. Oh boy. Ow, ow, ow. All the ow. Okay, drones left. My god. Okay, single drone left. Fuck's sake. Thank you. Jesus. You know, it's really the MVP for this one. Holy hell. Yeah, the Far Clouds are not helping. <sighs> okay, Hope plus 7, nice. Minus 1 Collapse, well, I'll take that. Need to reduce that shit even more. Okay, Sniper is promoted. Uh, Tank-wise... We are fine, but... Hmm. Let's grab you. Okay. Cannot, my man, do you have something good? <clears throat> Attacks of casters and specialists by 8% for each caster and specialist. Yes. Uh, you can get your promotion. More stats on you. 60% attack for one second after the skill becomes active. I'll take it. Um, both the sniper and medic is promoted. Minus two value, plus two life points. Yes. Oh hell yeah, 30% life loss now. Good. I'll take the battery. More, more sniper stuff. Specialists with 30 attack speed. I think I'm gonna take that. say that's it. The only thing I could do... <laughs> sure. 
Sure. He can have a tip for that. There. Take it. Okay, what's the gamble? Oh, you? Uh, sure. I'll take the hope. And that's all I'm gonna take. Bye. I'm not losing life points on you. I'll take the two plus two free hope. Uh, plus two objective shields, huh? Okay, good. Oh god, it's this one. Ugh. Ugh, I hate this one. Uh, f uh okay, 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 okay. Uh, Heliger, for now, I'm gonna have to take you out, because you're gonna die to one single clap of something. Until you're promoted. <clears throat> Okay, let's go in. Hmm? What do you mean, what's the, what does no do in the long term? Holy shit, you got clapped. Okay. Okay, I got rid of that shit. Good. Not the best book, but sure. Immediately get rid of that asshole. Oh, the gambling one. Yeah, it's random stuff. Okay, you're there. Okay. Nice. That went well. This one, free promotion, now you're ready. You... Can't really do anything with any of these. Give me that one. And the shield. Alright, prophecy thing. Go through the normal ending. Another shield, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, the gambling nodes depend on the situation. If you have, like, extra resources you can spend on it, then sure, but, uh, yeah. It's kind of really <laughs> a lot of RNG from a lot of ends. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, instead of you, I will take you. 
third skill. Yes, Aizen, you're about to do Aizen things. All right, first and foremost, we start a forest fire. Then Aizen gets to do Aizen things. Mm. You will go in front, you will go in back. You will go here, uh, you will go and keep this side secure. Well, I wish I would have deployed a healer a bit sooner, but sure. Next time. Who would win, an old man or the mount or a mountain? <laughs> yes. No leaks. はい。生徒Well, this was a bit stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. You know what? Probably am. Um, reduced health on enemies by 20%, yes. 
Uh, max 50% extra HP, yes, and the objective shield. Okay. Oh boy, here we go again. Here comes the bullshit. Uh, what was this again? Oh, the DP generation regeneration is busted right now again. Okay, well, I have extra health and redeployment time is reduced. That is good. Okay, don't have a lot to spend here. Defenders have 60% attack. That won't really help me with the current defenders I have. I know, I know. Uh, all operators attack 20% for... Okay, this is useful. I'll take you. I'll take you because shit is gonna be clustered and this is not gonna do anything. Yep. Okay, safe house. Uh, yes. You. Okay, let's see. Select one combat node plus one more randomly selected node. Ooh, gee, I wonder what the random selected node will be. <laughs> so random. Okay. <clears throat> Sadly, all of this shit is still active. But okay. Plus 50% allied units on health. Shield guard. Uh, redeployment time by 30%. Elite operators. An elite operator will join. Oh boy. Well. Oh boy. Okay, you are coming along. You are fine. Uh, quick reminder. Okay, yeah, right. He comes also with both modules. What was his second skill again? Plus 80% attack changes attack to twice. Ah, right. 75% physical dodge as well. Right, okay. Keep him on that. Uh, what do you buff? 25% Sanctuary when HP is below 50%. Okay, and which one do you buff? The first one. 130 attack speed. Reaches maximum bonus when losing 50% HP. Okay, and the second one... 90... Health per second when not blocking an enemy or when HP is below 30. And what's the trait? When defeated, does not retreat and instead recovers 30% HP. Can only act it once per deployment. Ha! Right. He remains. Hmm. <clears throat> Sanctuary. Okay. Let's keep you on that. <sighs> this map is not the worst, but... It could be the worst. Okay. You know what? Instead of you... Let's get the goat boy in. I'm gonna keep him on skill 2 just for this. I'm gonna swap him to skill 3 for the boss. <laughs> so many obsolete squad size indeed. Oh, 
This stage I have done before. Hmm. What you hear on there? Oh, hi. Okay, you're dead. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's place you here. Right, then needs a, that needs a target. Jesus. Goodbye, phase one. Can I keep you here for a second? Just so you're in the circle. Thank you. Thank you. Delete it. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Well, he is chilling. Hella girl, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool! Another 12% reduction in enemy defense? Yes. Uh, none of these does anything, right? Yeah. I could take it and just promote you, I guess. <clears throat> and this does not matter, so whatever. Alright, here we go again! Swap you to your third skill. Uh, healer, healer, healer. Yeah, fuck it, let's go.
You again? Okay. Uh, let's bless you. この力信の意味で離れることはできる。私も分かっている。医療任務開始します。恐怖を隠せない。ここでは何が起きている。Okay. Mm. Okay, that will cover the spot I wanna cover, so... Okay, and on, and on, and on, and on. Phase one. Okay. Take you out. <laughs> oh, you're targeting down here now? I guess in that case. Oh, okay, right, she follows. Wait, is she actually hitting? No, she cannot hit it right now, but that's okay. Okay, that's uh, very interesting right now. Supercharge you. So she she has targeting lock on onto the boss. Come on, shoot one more time. Shoot it while he's still warm. Fuck. Oh, oh was a thing. Ow. Thanks, Eben. Ow. Bye, Eben. She literally still has target lock on onto the boss. I just need a charge. Boss dead. Okay. 
Just need to deal with the little assholes now. Ow. Ow. Okay, buddy, let's take you out. Let's also cleanse a bit. <laughs> Excuse me, Ebenholt? Oh, excuse me, what? Huh? Stop. That is too many casters in one spot. Stop. There we go, finally, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I can finally see what the fuck this is about. Well, this is an image. Uh, oh. <laughs> you literally insta been the freaking um <clears throat> the freaking uh what's it called her her tracking on her third skill for the boss is um is the winning ticket there. Literally trivia trivialize the boss and its movement. <clears throat> anyway. <sighs> okay. Oh, the portal is open, huh? We have seen the land swallowed by darkness. We have seen the door that will open at the end of the ice fields. We bear witness to fate undivided from beginning to end. To arrive at the end, I will restore its cause. Oh, it's her saying that. Okay. <clears throat> the foreseen future lies before me. Through trial and tribulations, through trial and error, Quite literally what I just went through. <clears throat> the survey team arrived here under the Cyclops' guidance. Here at the end of the endless ice fields. In the north. Beyond the north. The inscrutable object stands tall. Its base covered in rootless flowers. The explorers who made it this far are no strangers to fear. And fear is what now spreads through everyone's minds. Somehow, they all know that if the door could be opened, that a dark fate awaits beyond. But the Cyclops has already begun walking towards it. 
She has been walking towards it ever since the day she emerged from her cave. Her vision starts to warp. Perception and understanding are causing space to collapse rapidly. Knowledge from the rift begins to encroach upon reality. Those who wish to stop the coming of the ill fate could not make a sound in the interferred fear. <laughs> like all the others, Typhon gazes at the figure. Unlike the others, Typhon has seen her embark on her date with fate many times. The Cyclops never explains where she is going. Simply follow the guidance of the fate she speaks of, and they would meet again someday. But this time, Typhon feels compelled to call out to her, to stop her. Not because of a premonition of calamity, nor out of fear of the unknown. The hunter astutely grasps her concrete apprehension. Argus, don't go! Oh, fuck. The Cyclops hears the call and turns around. The great ring begins to spin, reflecting darkness bright as the starry sky, brilliant colors meandering. A collapse is occurring, one that far exceeds all recorded instances. She has seen it all in her foresight. One glance into the abyss will bring unprecedented disasters to Sami, and indeed to all of Terra. The prophesied moment did not tell her how long she can hold it off, nor how much anger and hatred would be directed at her in the days to come. She knows only one thing about her destiny. In the great shadow of the demon, the Cyclops raises a black veil of arts, separating the disaster she caused from the others. Go. Typhon knew what she was going to say. The Cyclops, who had always carried sorrow on her face, is smiling. This is my fate. My daughter whose fate I do not know. May you live in freedom. No. No. It can't be. It can't be today. A single figure dashes forward in the endless darkness. Breaking free of the quagmire of fear, casting away her heavy bow and arrows, Typhon tries to grab the figure walking forward alone. She stretches her hand out in desperation. A horned beast of pristine silvery white leaps past her lithely. It is light as snow, too light to touch even by a dream catcher made of spider silk. Mm. It is the alabaster mercy of the Sami that all Sami have seen in dream. Whoa. That looks wild. What the fuck? Like an aurora, its brilliance tears the darkness apart and soars into the sky. Sami's sovereign of beasts charges into the demon before it. A great flash explodes towards the warped visible space, its rays scattering in silence and disappearing into the unfathomable void. The silver frost from the horn beast fades away with the terrifying stars in the shockwave. The energy annihilation causes the ice crystals to sublime. Droplets of hot water fall on the end of the ice field. Ama's affection gently melts on the hand of its daughter still stretched out towards the abyss of fate. <laughs> the demonic shadow fades away, 
and the silvery white hornbeast is gone. The eldritch colors from the ring are gone, leaving only ancient silver white on the ice. All present look up at all this in a daze. Finally, a researcher breaks the silence with their footsteps. The researchers begin to survey the great ring, but never find a way to activate it, nor any gaps that they could traverse. Typhon searches the ground nearby. She is looking for a solid snowball with the mark of a beast's horn. I can't find it. Strange. The mother should have left a blessing behind. What do you think, Argus? She could not accept that the great horn beast has departed. Its return uncertain, but Argus shakes her head. Its footprints disappear in the never-ending snowfall. The two Sarkas, who do not belong to the Sami Alafia, whisper their gratitude to the love of Sami. The storm seems to have passed. But the prophesied fate has yet to come to pass. Much like her destined death, the door will be truly opened one day. Dodge the bullet there! You ding dongs! <laughs> MVP Sami! What the hell? <laughs> well, this is an ending. What the hell is the text about then? We definitely did it. Now I can actually focus and, and do the do the do the do the run with uh, with Typhon because it's still because <laughs> it still haven't uh, done the monthly Typhon thing for for this. So I need to unlock that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Typhon stuff is easy. I just need to pass through the three... Oh, the King's Crown. <clears throat> through the three, three, three floors? Or something? Complete an adventure with at least 60 max hope. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Originium Iris. Okay. Huh? Okay. Can go higher now. Uh, first, I wanna see... Oh, both of these were for this. Gate to the Starry Sky. The current sequence of events is rationalized. And the black curtain has lifted. This is no craving, nor related to her ideals. This is her destiny. Damn. Annihilation. Ama loves her children so much that even after a long time, you seem to still feel the warm rain falling on your face. Uh, whoops. Saw me literally charging the gate. Uh, three. Oh, I never picked this one up. I guess white flower crown, a floral veil used in vampire rituals. Its once vibrant redness has been sucked empty, leaving only a pale white color. This one I read. Draft of a speech. She was a little nervous, a little worried, but still remained resolute. When the microphone was turned on, her long, long ears quivered slightly. Oh! 
<laughs> it says Amia. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's giving us peach? Literally says on the thing. <clears throat> uh, okay. Before I do the... Oh, yeah, right. I haven't read this. I opened part 3 for, for this, but I've never read it. Indistinct Earth. Okay, so part 1, just to remind myself, part 1 was about... Uh, Mariam and heading out to the ice fields and talking to Kirsten. Part 2 was... The team heading out north and I think meeting with uh, Argus. And I think about also Magellan, yeah. Okay, part three. <laughs> so terrible vampires doing red color. <laughs> yes. Okay, part three. Indistinct Earth. So this is this is for ending one, the third part. <clears throat> Magellan is walking along the plains spread across the subterranean realm. The land is vast, yet few know of the wonders here beneath the surface. Three days ago, she rappelled down one of the deep holes found across Sami, trying to discover the secrets within the scars of the earth. In her investigation, she finds plants attached to the rock wall, as well as slimy secretions increasing in frequency as she descends further. Past a certain death, the plants and secretions fill vir virtually the entire space, but Magellan finds a way to keep going down, 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 searching in the vegetation, reaching out in the darkness. Finally, her hand finds wet, slippery rock. She has reached the deepest part of the hole. This place is like an ethereal paradise, the mist veiling everything that the light touches. The earth below and the rocks around are damp, but the air feels slightly dry. It feels like Sami... It feels like Sami... This sentence is not making sense in my, in my head, but whatever. It feels like Sami... Then a forest in Victoria or Lithuanian. <laughs> I feel like there's a word missing in here. It feels more like Sami than a force in Victoria Lithuanian, huh? Maybe? I don't know. Magellan checks the equipment that she brought. All instruments are silent, and her other equipment is less responsive than it should be. She must light a torch and proceed in the darkness. It hardly feels like she is underground. She might as well not be, except for the solid rock where the sky ought to be. Moss and Lichen have thoroughly covered the few fallen rocks, plants the likes of which Magellan has never seen grow in abundance. Their fruits look tasty, but eating them is a risk that she will not take while she still has rations with her. There are even streams and rivers in this underground space. Real water, no different from above ground. It is cold and sweet, with a flavor that Magellan cannot describe. Ancient? Lost? Or... Magellan savors it again. It is the sound of silence. It is a soundless lament. Magellan follows the water and finds a cave at the end. Magellan follows the cave and finds a regularly blinking light at the exit. Attached to the cave, it spreads out far and wide, branching and blinking constantly. But a light in the middle is the brightest. Magellan follows the light. She does not know how much time has passed. Time no longer seems important. She has already cast aside all her gear. She holds a single walking stick in her hand, and her long hair hangs down. She has not started to fi she has not started a fire for a long time, for the rock wall continues to provide light from time to time. Rations have long since run out replaced by fruit and spring water. She keeps walking, walking, accompanied by her most loyal companion, passion for exploration, the thirst for knowledge. Finally, Magellan finds herself at the end of the road. There is a great tree there, not unlike the clan trees that Magellan has seen before. It is wrapped in an oval membrane that expands and contracts, each cycle sends a ripple into the darkness, 
in the distance. That light let Magellan hear. The end of an exploration, a journey for knowledge. Magellan decides to seek her reward in the most primitive way. She reaches out and touches the membrane. It throbs powerfully and repels her hand. A light shoots out towards the distance from the rock wall above, splitting the glowing like splitting and glowing like stars in the night. Magellan thinks. She puts her hand to her chest. She feels her heartbeat and that of the tree. She understands now. It is no plant. It is the heart of Sami. She has walked across Sami's spine, challenged Sami's will. She has descended into Sami's scar and wandered into Sami's body. Through Sami's bones, following the lights of Sami's neural network, Sami forgives her intrusion. It has shown her its scars and vulnerability as a gift to the explorer. No one knew of Sami's pain until now. Compassion from a kindly spirit gives comfort to its tired soul. Magellan turns around and finds the rope she came down from. All she needs to do is tie it around her, tug on it, and she will return to the surface. Or... Magellan keeps walking. The wall at the end of the road. There are symbols there, which Magellan has seen on sculptures. Sami's message. A message of concern, not for Sami itself, but for Magellan. The path ahead will not be smooth, but she keeps walking. Past the illusion of the end, past Sami's mirages, from light into darkness. Sami does not understand. Sami is silent. Magellan keeps walking. She wants to reach Sami's brain understand the source of Sami's memories and emotions. She wants to learn about Sami. She wants to understand Sami. Really? This is where you end? Huh. This is where they end. Yeah, the translations are still not perfect in some places but with so mu so much text is under understandable <clears throat> okay interesting definitely so she is she is on on oh, on a very tight exploration right now very interesting. I wonder if that has a conclu conclusion. Okay, what do we have here? Long into an abyss. Water drop. Valor Quinn meditates in the cave, oblivious to the passage of time. The sound of wind and snow cannot reach her here. Other than her own heartbeat breathing, and the blood pulsing through her veins, the only sound she hears is that of the mist condensing on the rock wall, slowly forming into dew. <clears throat> the foresight of the Cyclops gazes only upon the future. The vision left behind by the Cyclops who bec uh, became the King of Sarkas a thousand years ago continues to be passed on through generations. The foresight of the Cyclops gaze... Uh, the vision left behind by the Cyclops who became the King of Sarkas a thousand years ago. Okay. <clears throat> the shadow will spread towards Terra from the end of the ice field. That which is real will collapse and shatter. There are no corpses upon the land, for the land itself is covered in void. At first, their kin who died on the journey to the north saw neither ice field nor demon for their entire lives. They passed on a prophecy they could not understand to their sons and daughters, like a blind man opening a coffin to sketch the face of the deceased as they lived. Now the clan lives in the mountains, watching the ice field to the north, as the nature of the vision is revealed along with that of the ice fields. It has not changed the duty of the Cyclops. She, they, are still waiting, 
waiting for the far future, the finish line of fate. Until then, her job is to delay its coming. Bellarquin's thoughts do not stop here. She sees herself extend an invitation to a group of southerners who approach the research station. As they speak, she foresees dead bodies thrown across the ground, their faces blurred, their laughter and mirth brought to an abrupt end, leaving her holding a flower that should not exist, with an endless sea of flowers behind her. Even so, she chooses to shake the hand of the survey team's leader. She sees herself assist a few young shamans with whom she is acquainted, on their way towards the front lines where the warriors are. As they share a treehouse, she sees a procession of warriors corrupted by demonic influence, a reckless campaign, and hunger in a snowstorm. Even so, she chooses to fulfill their fevered hopes. A plethora of thoughts pass, and she sees herself walk out of the cave with resolve. Finally, she realizes that she is, for once, reminiscing about the past. The foresight of the Cyclops gazes only upon the future, but the myriad possibilities in the many visions eventually converge upon a single memory. She sees the black snow rise slowly into the sky, while she walks towards a child cr crouched by her family's bodies, weak and in despair. Fate is warning her. She foresees an unfamiliar ice field. The child has grown to adulthood, but as an unrecognizable, blurred silhouette, one that is being extinguished by her arts. She foresees herself running away, but a black arrow pierces her chest and pins her to a tree. She foresees the child becoming her judge and executor. She foresees a wilting flower, a broken bow, and a piece of tattered clothing outside the door. She knows that all this pain is destined to occur, but she closes her eyes. All that's left are the painful, clenched, trembling sobs. She embraces the sobbing child. In her warm embrace, the child finally opens the floodgates, and a tear flows onto Valerquin's collar. She opens her eyes, and a drop of dew had fallen onto her skin, still bearing the scent of the rock wall. So am I right to interpret this as she foresaw that Typhon is gonna have to kill her one day? I guess if she... If she suffers a collapse... <clears throat> that's her end? Fuck. She found the child, he ra she raised the child, and the child is gonna be her judge and executioner. Holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> Part 2. Yearning. <clears throat> Ama has left. Typhon did not use the word die. The souls of the dead... Oh, this is after... This is after the ending. Typhon did not use the word die. The souls of the dead still roam the land of Sami. It is only those who have left who never return. She went over hills and tundra and through Mirkwood, always with fear in her heart. What will become of Sami without Ama's protection? Will the forest wilt? Will the horn bees still find sanctuary? Will the snow that has not been stepped on by Ama never melt? Also, this is pretty much confirming that Ama left. Ama li literally the the entirety of, of her went through the fucking portal. No, no, all of this is canon. All, all of this are canonical endings, and they are pretty much they're pretty much a continuous journey. Like on ending one, like the cutscene ending one is pretty much them. Um, just passing through the um, test that was provided by Sami itself. Uh, ending 2 is encountering... Uh, 
Ending to is encountering a corrupted, uh, corrupted warrior of legend, a snow priest, uh, who has fallen. And ending three is finally reaching the gate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, bloody. Either either she left through the gate and is fighting on the other side, or she literally she literally killed herself to kill to to turn off the gate for now. It's one of the two. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, Typhon found herself relieved when she saw that none of the sights had changed. The forests were still lush. Bubbling hot springs melted the nearby snow. The young hornbeast cuddles by her side knowing that she harbored no ill intent towards it, and chewed on the new leaves sprouting from the bush. Tired from the long journey, she almost falls asleep with, with the fall. When the fall closes its gentle eyes, however, she awakens with a start, remembering the white hornbeast that hardly ever opened its eyes, which no longer protected the souls of Sami. With unskilled warding arts and arrows, she repels another shadow that had not yet grown into a threat, ensuring the safety of the fall. But the hornbees did not know that Ama has left. It kept its old habits, sleeping in the shadow of the canopy without caution. Soon, Typhon realizes that no one knew that Ama has left, for Sami has not changed. Ama sacrificed itself to protect the souls of Sami, and faded away forever, but those who it protected only think that they have not encountered it. Typhon rescues a tribe caught between hedges and warns them to be more careful, for Ama can no longer protect them. They answer, yes, Ama has many to care for. We cannot always expect to receive its kindness. We must take care of our own children. Typhon calls out to a hunter in the woods. You won't find the little snowballs that Ama left behind anymore. But the hunter does not believe her, because those who sought Ama's affection were always the last to find it. Thinking about why the snowballs are not there in the, is the reason why one does not find Ama's affection. The hunter smiles at the child and tosses a little snowball towards her, landing at her feet. There is no one to say farewell to Ama with her, no one to prepare a funeral. How can she prove the melting snow that fell on her so long ago? Typhon's sorrow becomes anger, but there is nothing she can take it out on. She cannot blame people for living a quiet life, nor the forest for its greenness. Therefore, she continues to wander, doing her best to protect all of it until she encountered a snow priest. Yeah, Ama and Sami are two different things. Um, would it be right to say Ama is the beast lord of the land? Considering I think the ending, the ending cutscene literally just used beast lord or something akin to that to describe the stag. <clears throat> Probably. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and just as a reminder, the beast lords are usually unkillable. If 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 that uh, if that stag, that pure white glowing stag that I How wild is it that I actually use that picture for today's stream? How wild is it that I actually used that picture for today's stream? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Prophecy? <clears throat> uh, anyway, until she encountered a snow priest. She tells the snow priest out of habit that Ama no longer protected them. The snow priest nods. This was the first time that somehow, some, someone listened to her. Finally finding an outlet, she pours out many stories about Ama until there is nothing left to say. 
Then she mutters, But all of this is no more. No, answers the snow priest, who until now has listened with infinite pan patience. Do you know why Ama remained in Sami? Remained? Ama and its kind have never belonged to any land. It stayed because of its attachment to the land and souls of Sami. But Ama is gone, Typhon says, even more anxious. Has it merely left Sami? Does it not care for the land of Sami anymore? If you know where to look, child, its love has never left. Typhon wants to ask more questions, but the snow priest has stood up. Their silhouette he heads into Mirkwood, then seems to overlap with the shadow of an aged tree. Snow falls from the branches, and a black fowl beast takes off from their shadows between tree and snow. Typhon runs forward towards the spot. The footprints end abruptly on empty ground, and the snow shines with the bright reflection of the light from the Twin Moons. Who the fuck was that now? Sami Sovereign of Beast is what, what, what was written. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, so Ama, Ama is a Beast Lord, essentially, then. Okay, cool. Okay, also, who was that just now? Who did you speak to? Sami... Sami itself, maybe? Or... 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 Where... <sighs> what was that called again? Or this... This one. Or this one, because... This one comes along with a... with a raven, with a black fowl beast. Oak's mother? Oh, it, oh uh, Oak's... Um, uh, teacher, yeah. Maybe? But why would that person then just vanish into thin air? I don't think the guy is like... Or guy, I don't actually remember right now if, it's, if, if it was described as a dude or a, or a woman anymore. But I don't think the guy would just uh, poof into thin air. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll have to... I'll have to unlock uh, endings three for both for both ending two and three for a future stream just to just to see what is what is up okay now let's do this and get these three things uh heavy shooter data and besieger operators deal increase increasing damage to enemies as the target's hp decreases up to a maximum 50 percent and then instantly defeat right this one this one. What do you give me? Let's start with this again. Hmm. Let's start with you, and let's start with you. Okay. Okay, time to unlock horror stuff and read that as well, and then after we're done with that, we're gonna be uh, finishing off today's stream. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that beagle skin. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It will probably have a resurgence at some point again. <clears throat> oh, game. 
how are we gonna game this? I hate that I want the chest. Shit. Okay, let's place you here, you out. I'm gonna place you facing the other way, and Spot can heal your ass then. Okay, there we go. Done. Good god, that artifact is busted. <clears throat> Giving her an attack buff. The last health on the enemy. Squad size limit, 2% attack, nice. Caster. Okay. <clears throat> uh, ingots, uh, give me that. Nice. Uh, the pictures you sent, hold on. Oh, her! Right, but literally who I had on screen just now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the elusive shaman, right. Or the shady shaman, rather. Right. Could have been also her. She would, yeah, she would listen. Yeah, that one, that, that one is an enigma. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, for I honestly forgot about her for a moment. That. Wagata. Take your kimas. Mina san, sent on the jimbi or stick with a sight. Peter Kiddo. Yeah, that works.
どうすれば誰かが気づく前にあなたの死体を影に沈めてあげる頼みは手前の影をこの矢で釘付けにしてやる。Just deleting stuff. Healer. Okay, let's see. Right. You have nothing. <laughs> um, caster. Don't need that. Promote a caster will not help me. Refresh. Okay, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. That's that's an instant promotion. That's an instant promotion for free. Uh, promote a defender that will not do anything. Gargoyle plus life points. Uh, sure. Okay. Let's go. Promotion, encounter, bosky passage. Let's go through encounter, then the bosky. Well, good shit that I kept stuff. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Promoted and ready to kill. Let's see what we have in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh cool game. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the top one. Yes, hibiscus, you will poison everybody with your food, we know. Oh good, everybody's confused. <clears throat> that fills me with joy. Uh, no, that actually works, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I don't need to do anything anymore. <laughs> I have an easy life. Stage can play itself. That was a damage number. Interesting options, but promotion. Mm -hmm. Let's not overspend right now. 
You're gonna be... you're gonna be enough. I only have seven ingots. Sure. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Caster or specialist? I'll take another Vanguard. <clears throat> sure. Haven't used... haven't used Cantabile in a while. What's the gambling one? You again. I'll take the hope. I will not give you my life points. <laughs> uh, okay. Into this we go. ね、昔とは違って、もう自分を隠したりしたくないわ。どうすればいいかくらいわかるわ。私に命令しないで。ここね、合ってるかしら。これでいいだろう。どうしたの自分の何が知っているのかよくわかっているわ。<笑> Okay, I have I don't think I've used her on this skin. <laughs> She's throwing dango at, at the enemy. That is hilarious as fuck. I swear. What? Uh where is the good placement for you here? <laughs> and slapping them with the dango as well, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? That is that is actually stupidly hilarious. I love it. What the hell? Oh, okay, I got deleted. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> I just remembered, there is now a chance to get the most depressing victory lines ever. <laughs> when we finish off a battle stage. Oh god. Okay. Not gonna be overspending. What do we have here? This one... Uh, don't want to do that one. Ranged operators deal 150 arts damage to a random enemy within attack range with every attack or heal. Yes. Yes. Okay, I need to deploy her six more times to finish off the thingy. Let's see, wish fulfilled... Yeah, I think this is gonna be the path, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. That is gonna be the path.
Hmm. Not a good direction, that's bad. Um, hmm. It's gonna be good for these assholes. Oh, yeah. Okay. For the memes? Vessel by a hexer and abjures attacks deal additional art damage equal to the Okay. Oh, defense reduction? Yes, please. <clears throat> okay. This map? Yes. Why, yes. I will take this map. <laughs> Even more defense reduction. Okay, cool. Cool game. Uh, hmm. You're already promoted. 
won't be able to do much with this anyway. Okay. Uh, sure. Whistle away. And give me this one. Okay. And you guys give me one minute. I'll be very quickly back. All right, let's see. Okay, easy map. Oh, oh, <laughs> um, hmm. Cool. Very cool. Oh, I am. <clears throat> this, this stage sucks a tiny bit more when you do it on the... When it's the higher difficult one, when the enemies are buffed. Then it really sucks. When there's, when there's one extra uh, altar placed right in front of uh, right in front of the gate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah uh sure You need to deploy, be deployed three more times. <clears throat> okay. Well, 
Let's go. Nice. Okay, let's see what we get. The reclamation algorithm uh, roadmap? Okay. What are you curious about? Only battle nodes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, these two don't do anything. Which one do we have here? This one or this one again? Let's do this one. Okay, Steward, you're getting replaced. <clears throat> oh, there is a mimic there. Okay. Uh, I'll take a look after the stage is done. Oh, when the skin is gonna come. Okay. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. If I remember correctly, there was a lot of um, people complaining about it that it's not a live 2D one. Um, if it's the one I'm thinking about. Oh, that one. No, 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 never mind. I was thinking about something else. Is that Hoshi? Is that Hoshiguma? Kinda looks like Hoshiguma. Uh, hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Give me a second and I can show you. Just trying to grab shit. Uh, window capture. Uh, this one? Oh god. That is a bit out of whack. Um... I think you can see it per properly. That one. Uh, the next... Reclamation algorithm bullshit thing is gonna be um, permanent, right? 
from what I heard. Okay, cool. At least I'll get to do that one properly. Last one I barely touched. Like, literally barely touched. Nice. I'm always surprised that they don't actually... When they first time introduce that stupid game, a new game mode into the game, why they don't keep it in the game anymore then? Because I would love to go back to play the old one, but it's not there. <laughs> so it's like, screw you. You don't get to play it. Uh, it's, uh, it's the event where you build bases and, um, and stuff. The, the event that was live, like, a couple of months ago. It's essentially, it's essentially like you have a couple of rounds to go around and collect materials. Uh, you build, build out your base essentially, and like Bloody said, you try and survive uh, the incoming waves. Then. Essentially, the base building was literally build a long ass corridor and have everybody come into a single corridor or make make one single point of entry and just concentrate all the firepower onto that single single point and nuke the shit out of everything. Yeah, I was kind of mixed on that whole game mode. It wasn't really interesting, I'll be quite honest. Outside of the lore that you pick up around around the place, and I've never had proper proper time to actually go through the whole thing to scan through everything. So, you know. Uh, promotion for you. <clears throat> But yeah, I hope I hope that the second iteration of that thing is actually more interesting to do. Hey, it's the thing again, but I kind of want the second thing now. Clairvoyant reveal. Well, this is gonna be fun. Random ass deployment points. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, I do hope that uh, for the second iteration they actually did a bit more fun stuff with it. That it doesn't feel... I would say my most most complaint about the whole game mode is that it felt boring. It felt really boring to do. <clears throat> uh, there is no direction you can head to avoid misfortune? Thanks? Thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks. 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 Okay. Boss time. Oh god, it's this boss. Mm, it's the pain in the ass boss. It's the pain in the ass boss. Oh. Oh, 
Hi. How's it going, buddy? 14 DP to deploy. Checks out. ここは安全です。聞いてる。ここは安全です。Buddy, can you move your ass? Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, delete it. <laughs> the one thing you can throw this game hits the pain in the ass boss. Thanks. <laughs> Which one? Uh, promotion for you. No, actually, no, you. Even less def. Oh, oh, oh. This is this is the thing that I unlocked. Plus six hope squad size limit plus two. Yes. Also, what? A most extravagant bouquet of flowers. The troop leader. Oh, that's from IS two. The troop leader has handed flowers like these to the leads during countless curtain calls. That's an old one. I forgot about that one. Um, what do I have right now? I have two red ones. Yes. Well, this is done. Let's see how far we get. Let's go with this. Uh, sure. Sure. Which one was that? This one, right. Right, look at all the space I have right now. Mm, juicy deployment slots. Yum, 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 yum. Deva, <laughs> <laughs> Is quad size. Eh. Deployment slots quad size. Eh. Let's see. Let's take you here. Take you here. Okay. 
You there? You on? You meme. Eh, you can go. Lee's very busy showing people card tricks. <laughs> that is a trade secret that I shall not reveal. Didn't I have... No, okay. I did not have thingies for you. Uh, oh. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This one. Okay. <laughs> magic speed magic. <laughs> oh god, why are we doing reverse psychology right now? Um, zip, zip, zip. あの身は私の庭から取っかく出て行け。敵が来ます。皆さん、戦闘の準備をしてください。うん。This <笑> <laughs> Always play mind games. This is definitely an interesting setup. Slappers are having fun. <laughs> if, yeah, it works. That's the important part. Hmm. Hmm. 
Why not? Uh huh. Nah, let's go down. Oh good, it's one of the stages I hate a lot. <笑>うん。うん。わかった。あ、オッケー。誰を餌にするか決まった。これからもこうして正しい立ち位置を見つけるわ。どうすればいい、足元を見て自分が何をしているのかよくわかっているわ。どっちが獲物かここで分からせてやれ頼みは先に沈黙を破った方こそ臆病者だ法とテルブレーション中よん外は危ないからね And you live. This is a squad. <laughs> if only she... <laughs> Maybe. With the power of the Dangos at her side, she would have prevailed. But sadly, no Dango, no life. ラボの延長みたいなものよ。誰を餌にするか気影が揺れてるわ。あまりまた足元を見てみなさい。これからもこうして正しい立ち位置を見つけるわ。君たちの命は自分が何をしているのかよくわかっているわ。どこを見込ま
結果を変えてしまえるものよ。戦闘地お前たちの命に火種をまいたあまりまた誰かに気づく前にあなたの死体を陰に沈めてあげる絶対近づかせないってみんなに約束したんだから分かりましたひいてるうちにどんなに求めているのかよく理解しているわ Just in time. <laughs> Literally, just in time. Was about to move out of her range. Okay. Let's go here. Oh, this is new. Listen to Typhon. Ha.、Huh. Is that only a. Wait, is that only available if you have her on the team? For this specific stage? Or is it run specific? Because I'm using her monthly thing. Okay, listen to Typhon. Clear collapse value. Whoa. Your group dares not take a step as you watch the Sarkas girl pull out an arrow to draw a lash. Slash across the wall. Perhaps it is her arts at work, as the wall-born moss curls up as, as if burning, falling off in large chunks. The room brightens up. You and your companions gratefully sit down to rest, and decide to believe the typhoon is always right. <laughs> wow! That got rid of everything. Holy shit! Uh, weave of snow and soil. Designates one deployable tile on the, on the beginning of the battle. Allied operators. Oh, this thing. Uh, shh. I cannot remember. Did I have the rainbow jar? I think I did. Whenever an enemy enters an objective point, immediately select a random operator waiting to be redeployable and reduces the redeployment time by half. Sure. I don't remember if I had that before. Okay. The interview thing is open now. Did I have this before? It is usually placed by the Sami people wherever the rainbow falls. They are meticulously maintained in order to withstand the untraceable catastrophes. Both n a t Both natural and man maimed. Okay. Super tough. Super tough stuff. Randomly select three combat nodes.、Uh, I'll wait for that one. Okay.、Uh, let's see. Let's speed this one up. Let's go through you. Sure. Uh, sh 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 sure. Okay. You. Skip you on that. It is time for the buffs. 
昔とは違ってもう自分を隠したりしたくないわ誰を餌にするか決まったこれからも絶望の匂いなんかカムフラージュできないわどうしたの誤った道を選んだよね君たちの命は私が守る叱ってやりましょう気をつけないでどうすれば勝負を隠せない南の様方大健闘の歩道を何とぞ本当に議論の余地なしなんですかね仕事始まるぞ聞いてる誤った道を選んだよねこの身は Pretty much what it is. Pretty much what it is up there. Anyway, hi there, Yossi. How's it going? Feeling you guys are a bit dickheads. Lee showing the magic tricks. DOS. Uh, I only got up to A and I was like, yeah, nah, this is not worth my time. <laughs> I was just super annoyed by that thing. That thing was just stupid. I pretty much rank DOS in the same category that I rank uh, contingency contracts. The less I have to touch it, the better I feel about myself. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, this thing, this thing, this thing. Th those stages were fun, at least, but, uh, the, the other shit was, like, eh. <laughs> to tell you how much I disliked it, I didn't even get the skin. <laughs> That's how little I played of that. I didn't even get the skin. Which I sort of feel bad about, but at the same time, not. Okay, buddy, do you have something for me? Deployment limit... I don't think I need it for anything anymore. Hmm, haven't had the opportunity to get to use you for anything. Can I get another? No. <laughs> yes, I'll take that.
sure, I'll take that. I'll take that. He's already promoted. Oh. Oh. Or? Nah. I was thinking about someone else. Well, you know what? <laughs> if I take Hoarder along, she has to come along as well, right? Um. Oh, I cannot use it on this thing. Eh. That's fine. Let's go for this, select that, as always, and then blast everything I have on this thing. Yeah, no worries. Good night. And yeah, I barely touched the daily maps or anything else. Literally was not really, really feeling that whole thing. The Diablo was interesting. <laughs> that the, the Diablo was literally the only thing that was interesting about the OS. <laughs> okay. All the life gain, all the time. Uh, buddy. We're gonna use you. We're gonna use you, and you're gonna have a one on one with the mountain. Healers, I need you. Kinda don't need, but. Let's go with this. All right, time to start the forest fire. Yeah, kinda. Like, like I say, speed. I don't really use her too much. And already have a skin on her, so... Eh! Ow. Yeah, let's take you out. Yo, 
Have to go all the way, but sure, why not? Okay, seen this a million times. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what this is about. Fix on it. Man gang? Okay. Dreams are just another kind of journey granted by Sami. How much do we have? A uh, decent amount. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so part number one. She shouts, yells, scream. It is a dream of strife. She has lost sensation in her legs. Many shards em embedded themselves in her body. Blood flows. The air is filled with smoke. The southerners left without so much as a glance back, as if they never, as if they never heard her. Typhon knows the weapon they used to hurt her. The explosives that send originium shards flying. They had used the same method to blow apart the old entangled tree. One talks into a communicator, with no hint of joy or guilt. We shook the Sami guide. She was very superstitious and kept obstructing our investigation with her arbitrary rules. Our maps are good enough that we don't need a guide anymore. No worries, I'll contact base camp if there's a problem. Maps are no use if you incur Sami's wrath. She will raise the mountains and call the wind and snow upon you. <clears throat> Typhon tries to give them a final warning. Exploration never Exploration Fever has brought survey team after survey team into Sami's ice fields, followed by pioneer teams and engineering vehicles. Sami has tolerated th these visitors, permitted their power plants, camps and but bus depots and communication stations, and even uh, abided the occasional fire and lingering smoke. The improved facilities have made expo exploration much safer for the southerners, but Sami's environment has not become any more forgiving, nor has the threat of the ice field gone away. Typhon, like, like many Sami, serves as a guide and a rescuer, teaching the children of the south an important lesson. Respect nature and never cross its boundaries. Alright, we'll take samples here. The southerner who no longer had any patience for her teachings speaks into the communicator. We've removed all the superstitious Sami crap. But the clan tree... Typhon has no more strength to speak. Smoke gets into her eyes and her tears mix, mix with the blood dripping into them. A tribe's clan tree falls to the roar of a chainsaw, and the sound of it hitting the ground summons the clansmen. A battle of shame and vengeance, of blood and blood, of blood for blood. The light of Sarka's arts flickers in the melee. Typhon tries to draw someone's attention, 
but in the but it be it the explorer explorers or the sami she's hoping someone will understand her signal and turn their attention to what she is pointing at she sees the shadow of the demon chasing after them finally asami notices her he uh, berates her the sarkas outsider who let uh, led the way for the explorers and brings his hammer down. The demon comes to an abrupt end. The alert hunter leaps up, pointing her bow at the shadow emerging from the forest and threatening her sleeping friend from the survey team. She lets the arrow loose without hesitation. Whew, okay. Part 2. She counts the cracks on her hand. It was a dark dream. Step by step, she stumbles forward, as if she could... <clears throat> as if the cold wind on the ice field could blow her over at any moment. Barren whiteness and the vast void flash alternatively across her eyes. At times, she feels like she is being thrown into darkness, surrounded by stars with the familiar past and the unfamiliar future drifting down like snowflakes. She can no longer tell day from night, nor how far she has walked, but she continues to count. She raises her hand and counts every tiny little wound on it. She keeps blinking and tells herself not to think that she cannot see clearly, for she would truly lose her vision if she did. She knows her foe well. 39, 40, then she loses consciousness for a moment from both fatigue and hypothermia, but immediately restarts the count. One, two, three. Any mistake would cause her perception of numbers to become distorted, and she'd lose understanding of the most basic knowledge. The boundary between the ice field and Sami still seems so far away. The sun seems to have risen and set again. The distance to the dark mountains faintly visible in the distance has not changed. She knows there is a path to avoid the warriors in the north, and she must go there, or the intolerant mountain folk will kill her once they see her corrupted appearance. Her legs look blue and grey. It takes her all effort to bend her knees, stretch them, lift them, and put them down. Is she supposed to put them down when walking? She savors the sensation of her boot stepping on ice, even if, even if this itself is likely part of her imagination. The wound penetrating her calf has not healed, nor has the bleeding stopped in the cold. The lag below it has turned black. Typhon tells herself that it is. Typhon tells herself that it is only necrosis due to frostbite, but she keeps going. Her quiver is empty, with only the heavy bow still on her back. She no longer has the strength to draw it. Her arms are stiff from maintaining the same position in front of her chest. In her bosom, bosom she holds a small box. I won't lose to you, she thinks. I won't throw this aw bow away. From the first day we met, I told you, I won't be afraid of you. I won't lose. She still... She will bring this box back to Sami. Through the forests to the southernmost point, she can still walk. Until she sees a familiar figure on the unchanging ice field. Argus gazes at her, and she remembers everything. The box in her bosom holds a flower that they found together. Argus asks her to bring it back to a Colombian in Chapat, while she went to find a group of explorers who lost their way on the ice fields. Looks like you never found them, but at least the flower I right then the order the order of language collapsed, followed by all thought and consciousness. On the ice fields, a body begins to lose its form. The parts not yet covered by snow fall towards the ground under the influence 
of gravity, but the rest stay in place, holding the hole up. The shadow covers more and more bodies, connecting segments of space. It slowly restores the data, resembling a human form standing on the land. Cyclops arts find the demon over the remaining biological tissue, preventing it from fully becoming nourishment for the latter. A black empty face sits op opposite the Cyclops' face. The box falls to the ground. Typhon wakes from the dream. Just another dream of being hunted by Shadow, she thinks, as she slings her weapon over her shoulder. The hunter that belongs to the Shadow has always been by The hunter that belongs to the Shadow has always been by her side. The day will come eventually when she is no longer a hunter, when she is no longer in command of her weapon. But whatever my fate may be, for now, I am a hunter. Yeah, good night speed. Okay, and part number three. So, our dreams are actually Sami speaking to us. You could say that, answers Siphon, but it could be a call from long ago. Argus says that fate is like a snowball. The higher, the higher up in it starts rolling, the longer it takes to hear the sound of it hitting the ground. She pauses her conversation with the young researcher. The other members of the survey team are stirring and, st stirring and sitting up in the campsite formed from tree branches, opening cans and discussing in low voices the strange dreams they had last night. Typhon takes an uneasy walk around them. The protections at the entrance have not been damaged. No one tried to start any machines, and no one gives off a demonic scent. How many survey teams have has she escorted? Typhon does not remember, only that both Magellan and Argus have gotten closer to their goals in recent years. As for herself, she needs no goal for the future, only to do her job here and now. She must, she must uh, preserve Sami's order from the creeping shadow that seeks to break the eternal cycle of the hunt. I dreamt of a saddled creature, two stories high, charging towards me, said a researcher when she passed by. That's a rockhorn, Typhon explains. We'll see them in the flesh when we go further, further north. I dreamt I was an eyelash... Eyelash? Eyelash? Ugh. I dreamt I was an eyeless underground creature digging beneath the frozen soil. Another anxious re researcher asks, Is that a bad omen? Just a shadow covering your eyes. It's not an uncommon dream in Sami. The southerner always make much of a much of fuss about the dream Sami bestows them. Some want to avoid the nightmares, yet reject the food and rituals of the Sami, trusting only in their own sleeping medicine. But Typhon does not get angry at them. Who gets angry at a young fowl that's just stepping into the world? She walks back to the young researcher and slings her great bow on her back. What about you? he asks. Do you dream about things from long ago? Of course. After some hesitation, the young researcher reaches into his bag. You should have this bag. Maybe someone with your experience doesn't need an outsider worrying about you, but if any of us need to be well rested and safe from nightmares, it's you. He is holding a dream catcher the Typhon gave the team. More and more nightmares uh, are wound around its thread. A helpless fowl returning to the dark ice field, seeing the bones rolling out in the nest. Ill fates of all kinds hide in dreams. There, the shadow is the only hunter, the manifestation of fear. I don't need it, she answers. A lot of prequel stories, actually. A lot of prequel stories for Typhon in this one. 
Especially the one how the flower got to Chapat. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. But yeah, really. Literally the only... <laughs> literally feels like the only researcher, or maybe two researchers that had some kind of... Um... How would you call it? Had some kind of respect towards... Uh, towards anything Sami related are literally... Uh, Magalan and... Um, what's his face? Um, shit. I forgot the name. Hold on. What was the name again? What was the name again? Where are you? You're mentioned here. Mariam. That guy. Literally feel like the only two who've shown any kind of respect towards um, the Sami, the ice fields and everything. Everybody else is like, ah, shit, sure. Uproot every single shit that you find. <laughs> who cares? Collect samples. We must. Okay. But, we are gonna be calling it here for today. It is late, I need to wrap it up, and, uh, shit has been achieved. Uh, considering that we are also close to the end of next, or uh, this month and the beginning of next one, and we're gonna be getting the next, um, next monthly, next monthly interview thing, I think the next stream for this I'm gonna keep for, for that, so after the first first of May, and uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna try and get the rest of the uh, endings, so that we can also check out what the rest of the endings are on that very stream then uh, next month. But yeah, interesting shit, regardless. Very 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 interesting shit. But anyway. That will be it for tonight, uh, been a long one, and uh, I do need to go. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me for this, guys, and for the chatting and everything, and uh, yeah, we'll continue in uh, next month when they add the next monthly, monthly interview thing with the next monthly character, and check out what that is, and Hopefully the other endings if I find the time to actually do this enough times to unlock them. But yeah, anyway, thanks guys and uh, have a good night. <laughs>